When we talk about what men really want, sex is the obvious thing that comes to mind. But there's a whole world of emotional needs that men rarely express, especially in relationships. And these are in the superficial movie script cliches we're used to hearing about. What men crave goes much deeper. In fact, some of the most powerful qualities that attract men in women are the ones we overlook. Imagine if you could tap into those unspoken needs and create a bond that goes well beyond the physical. In this video today, I'm gonna share the five emotional desires men have that go well beyond sex and can shift the entire dynamic of your relationship. And this isn't about changing who you are or lowering your standards. It's about understanding what really moves the needle so you can find the connection you're craving without wasting any time. So as we start, I want to inspire you to think of the image of a slow burning candle. And why the candle? Because the candle is going to outlast the most explosive and the loudest firework. Yeah, this thing might crack in the sky and create a myriad of colors, but it's gonna be gone in not too much time. And when you have the capacity to connect with a man and tap into that slow burning fire, desire, connection, emotional compatibility, this is the kind of relationship that can really last a lifetime. I don't know about you, but I haven't had any single woman knock on my door to help her to find a guy because she's looking for a weekend boyfriend. Most women are looking for a lifelong partner, someone who can be there through thick and thin, has your back. Two in the morning, there's a challenge and he's there with you, solving life's challenges. The type of guy that you're looking for is going to want more than sex. So let me put it this way. All guys are gonna want sex. A subsection of those guys is going to want something that lasts the test of time. And your job is to figure out how to connect through the way I'm sharing with you right now so that you can quickly validate if the guy has it in him to go the distance or if he's going to be a waste of your, insert word here, time. The first need that men won't share with you but have deeper than sex is an openness of heart on your side of the fence that is sparked by his presence. Let me tell you what I mean by that. If you start with an open heart, but your heart can continue being open, more radiant, more connected as a result of the way he shows up in your life, as a result of him being very present, in tune with your needs, very connected to what you have to say, very interested in learning more about your inner world. The more he becomes interested in your inner world, in a real sense, the softer your heart can relax into the moment. When that dynamic takes place, it's almost an equivalent of making love in a different way. It's an emotional way of connecting where the more present he becomes, the more open your heart is. That dynamic, that back and forth, that ebb and flow is something that is incredibly attractive to men and creates something that goes beyond the physical. It creates a long lasting emotional investment that's going to be the foundation of that tree that you're planting, that's going to have deep roots that will be able to withstand rain and tornadoes and the storms that life is going to land on you. Second thing the guy is looking for is similar to the first one with a twist, and it's called earned vulnerability. That means that you are able to pace the expression of your vulnerability, the sharing of your hopes, your dreams, your wants, your needs, all those things are shared in direct proportion to the way he is showing up in your life. If he's more consistent, if he is more expressive, if he is more vulnerable, if he shows up in service to your heart and your needs, the more he does that, the more he earns those points of having that trust in you that allows you to share in bits and pieces more and more vulnerability. And as you share more vulnerably, you also hold space for him to do the same thing. When vulnerability is done in sync, you share one thing, he shares one thing versus you share your entire life and he's pretty quiet and preserved. When it's a back and forth thing, it's much more powerful. And it's one of those things that creates the ability for him to long for your time, long for your presence, long for your connection. Why? 
because when there's skin in the game and vulnerability is one of those, those things that creates emotional skin in the game, then what happens is he wants to connect with you because you see him and he sees you. But it's one of those things that needs to be earned. If you're the kind of woman who wears her heart on her sleeve and you go around sharing everything with the guys you connect with, first of all, it's too intense and maybe a little too much for the guy to take in all at once. But also, you don't know if the guy's trustworthy enough to earn what you're about to share with them. So make sure that your vulnerability is back and forth and is earned by more connection, more presence, and more consistency. The third need that men have that goes deeper than sex is the opportunity to serve and be validated after said service. So what does that mean? That means that you might be the kind of woman who can kick ass and take names, and can open your own door, and can both cook and go hunting. All the power to you if you can do that. My invitation is that you allow, in that vulnerability I spoke about, the understanding of where the guy that you are connecting with can actually step up and serve you. Men love to serve the woman that they care about and that they love. Men love to show up in ways that remove the pain from you having to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Here's what happens when you don't ever allow him the opportunity to do that because you are either so independent that you need nothing from anyone or you're afraid of needing something from someone. If he starts showing up that way, you prevent him from showing up in a way that will actually make him feel far more connected to you. So this isn't about playing games. This is not playing dumb and asking him to do things that you very well could do for yourself. It's about understanding and sensing, okay, of the things that he brings to the table in terms of service, what are some things that if I'm really honest, he's awesome at it. And A, it's going to give him a chance to show up for me. And B, I will feel excited and I will feel like he's taking care of me in some small way. Now, before I share my last Two points which are incredibly valuable to learn and practice. If you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not aware of the root cause why you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every kind of love challenge, every continent on this earth, and have helped them to attract relationships that are both life partnerships and marriages that stood the test of time. And I've created a quiz with all those learnings you can take in about 60 seconds will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate and know your answer, all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video. You're going to see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and within 60 seconds you'll have two things. The answer to the elusive question why you're still single and a custom report based on your specific attraction blind spot that's going to tell you the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Here is the fourth need that meant will rarely share, but absolutely have. The more conscious he is, the more this needs pressing in his heart. And that's the safe exploration of his feelings. Many women have mistakenly learned, and I understand why you've connected sometimes with guys who don't have the capacity to go the distance, who are not safe in terms of connecting emotionally. So you've kind of learned to expect very little in terms of a guy's ability to express what he thinks. So your capacity to not take that for granted and in a safe way without pushing too hard but also without letting him just go without expressing ask him questions that allow him to express what he's really feeling have conversations with them that acknowledge the fact that there's a world of emotions taking place that sometimes he doesn't necessarily feel super able to share but if you're not pushing too hard but at the same time holding space for him he might find the safest repository in his world, in you, to be able to share something that is burning on the edge of his heart that he has not been able to share out of fear of being ridiculed or because no one has taken the time to ask him. Fifth need that he has in combination with the other ones I've shared is playfulness. He wants to experience range from you. So yes, he wants to find someone who has standards who has values that are strong. He wants to connect with someone who has a real strong sense of what she's looking for and doesn't just become a pushover for guys to do whatever they want with her. At the same time, he's also looking for that spark, that playfulness, that banter, which can be in some ways flirtiness, but it goes beyond that. 
it goes into the understanding that this world and this life is actually really hard for everyone who's alive. Anyone who cares, anyone who loves, anyone who really has some mission or purpose is going to experience a lot of hardship emotionally and a lot of heartbreak. So that playfulness in a couple of seconds can revive the feeling of, yeah, it's hard, but we shouldn't take ourselves too seriously. This is something, yes, I want to express my feelings and ask you about yours, but I also want to have fun. I also want to be playful. I also want to just enjoy and be not childish, but childlike again. I'm going to share one bonus need that guys have beyond sex. And that's something that most guys will never share. But if you get this one and if you get the other ones, it will, this will still go a long way into getting you a lot of connection, a lot of pursuit, and a lot of he's willingly wanting to commit to you. And that is the validation of him as a human being for who he is, not just for what he does. Most men have learned to self-evaluate their worth in this world as a direct result of what they can provide, what they can build, what they can create, what they can offer. And it's sometimes very, very practical and very physical in nature. But when you have the capacity to acknowledge and validate him for his character, for the way he is with you, without having to do many things, sometimes just the way he adds presence and value to your life, the way you admire, if you do admire him for who he is, the way he shows up, maybe with his children, maybe with his family, maybe in his work, the more you can share something that you see in him that isn't just as a result of what he's doing but as a result of who he is and how his being is impacting those around him the more likely he is to find something in you he hasn't found in anyone else hope this is helpful useful insightful if it is it would mean the world to me and my channel this is the only way i can reach more women if you click like and subscribe it's absolutely free and it makes a huge difference for me so if you found value in this video please click like and subscribe and maybe share it with someone who needs to hear this. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.